Hi, I'm Al Magdaleno. I'm a third wave volunteer and a citizen of the world. And next week, a small group of volunteers will be headed to the Florida Panhandle to help some of our fellow Americans who have lost everything. In these times of need, we need to help our fellow Americans in any way we can. If you can, please donate any amount, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, any amount you can. What you're about to see are some of their stories. Thank you. Today, David Wooten, we found him floating in the bow. He died sometime last night. It was just too much for him. The scariest day of our lives, we really thought we were going to die. Where is your house? Oh, I'm so sorry. There's the road, my car is leaving from other the hills inside the swamp. It's really bad. Yeah. We all, you know, gathered together in a hallway with a mattress on us and, you know, I was hoping for the best. We just bought the house two months ago. Two months before this one came. So. But it's like if we go somewhere else, we worry. So we just stay here and try to do the best with what we got. He died sometime last night. It was just too much for him. He's lost his wife. I guess he figured he just didn't have anything else to live for because everything was tore up so bad. But last night he was in good spirits, but this morning he came up missing. We couldn't find him, so we looked and uh, he had uh, he committed suicide. He had tied an anchor to his waist and walked out into the water, and uh, that's where we found him. Oh, my God. He's 92 years old. The other thing is the town. Okay, go get him. Yeah. The town says okay. that they're not going to let anybody build a new because there's not infrastructure here. And I understand that one of the things that you have to do is uh, resurvey the town. It's really uh, bad. Yeah. I, I, I got some family involved in Fort St. Joe. They're doing, they're doing fine. They're okay. doing good. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Are you going to get to Fort St. Joe or are you? No, no. I am just going away to see what happens. I'm just not cooking, actually. Because I love to cook. Oh, OK. I The really fantastic thing about kindness is that it's free and it can't hurt you or anybody else. It is the thing that brings us all together. We are unified in our humanity. And the only thing that we all know, we all appreciate in one another, is kindness.